Hello everyone, welcome to this video on XLOOKUP and RECHERCHE function in French. In this video, we're going to consider the XLOOKUP function, which is going to be in a real business context. Let's get started. Based on our sample data set, we have this employee details such as the employee ID, name, email, and then we have the package such as the annual salary, pension, tax, mid salary, and the bonus. Our goal is to come to this worksheet and calculate yearly bonus for all these employees based on the annual salary. And we're going to look up the bonus for each of the employees in the bonus table from the bonus column here so let's see how we can do that now our data is stored in an excel table i can see in the table design we have m details as the table name so we're going to come in and write our formula in cell d4 i'm going to type in x lookup function the same thing as the recherche x function in french language so for the lookup value i'm going to look up this name that is closest to the employee names column in this table so i'm going to put in a comma for the lookup value i want to call the name of the table which is m details and i want to open a bracket or square bracket which is in french called coche and then i want to access the employee names and then close the bracket and put in a comma for the return array we want to return the bonus column so i'm going to call the name of the table and open the square bracket and i want to return the bonus column close the square bracket close the x lookup control enter and i can double click i can go on and multiply this zero zero by the annual salary and press enter so this gave us the yearly bonus for each of the employee based on the annual salary so i'm going to come to the next worksheet i want to see the tax and gross salary now, in this example, our goal is to calculate the pension for each of these employees. And then we want to calculate the tax. First, we want to look up the tax rate from this table. And then we want to calculate the tax by multiplying the annual salary by the tax rate. And then we want to calculate the net salary. So let's deal with the pension first. Now, we have the 19% in cell F1, which is the 9% for the employees and the 10% contribution by the employers so i want to come here and type in equals and i want to take this cell c4 now i want to multiply by the f1 and i'm going to press f4 to make it absolute press enter and double click so we have the pension for each of the employees now we want to return the tax rate from this column so in this case we want to use the x lookup function the same thing as the recharge function for the lookup value, we want to look up this value, the annual salary, comma, and then for the lookup array, I want to check this list. I'm going to press F and F4 to make it absolute, and then for the return array in French tablet on void, I want to select all of these, and then F and F4 to make it absolute. And I want to put in a comma, comma, and then I want to access the match mode in French, mode correspondence. And I want to choose exact match or next smaller item. The same thing as approximative in French, Excel VLOOKUP. So I'm going to press the tab key and close the parentheses and press enter. I'm going to double click to copy down. Again, I can multiply each of these rows by the annual salary. To calculate the tax amount so multiply by c4 as we can see in the body formula control enter that works fine so we can see the tax amount for each of the employees beautiful now we want to calculate the net salary so that's going to be equals i want to take the annual salary minus i can open the bracket and i want to take the pension plus the tax close the bracket and press enter I can double click to copy down the formula and this is going to be the net salary so we we'll now to use the recharge x function to return the tax rate now let's go to the next worksheet now we want to see how we can perform a cross tabular lookup so in our case here we have this employee named clark elizabeth 
and of course we can see the employee names and then we have the annual salary and then we have that here so we want to pick the annual salary for this class elizabeth so i'm going to type in x lookup function for the lookup value i want to look up this value comma and i want to check the name in this lookup array so control shift down arrow key control backspace comma and then for the return array i'm going to use another x lookup function and then for the lookup value i want to look up this annual salary comma and then in the for the lookup array i want to check all this on text headers comma and then for the return array i want to select all of the equal length of columns so control shift right control shift down arrow key control backspace close close the bracket twice control enter so this gave us for clark elizabeth 37,000 as an salary beautiful now we can make it to be dynamic by creating this data validation so from the cell i'm going to press delete i'm going to come to the donate tab or the data tab and then i want to choose this data validation so click on that and I want to choose list and then for the source I'm going to move this to the right and select all the headers and then click OK I can see this is now dynamic so I can choose for instance the tax now I want to repeat the same thing for the employee name so I'm going to come here I'm going to press delete and click on the data validation I want to choose allow a list and then in the source I'm going to click on this value control shift down arrow key and then click OK so I can choose any names like let's say Flanders Daniel and there we go so everything works dynamically so this is the first part of the lecture video so let's go to the second part of this video all right so in this second part of the video we're going to see how we can use the same xlookup function and then how we can use the chose function which is called choose function in English. So let's get started. Now I'm going to come to this worksheet first, this product list. Now in our product list or product catalog, we have the item code, the product name, description, retail price, and the discount category. Now we classify our product based on the retail price. That's going to be either category A, B, C, or D. And then we want to populate this column using A, B, C, or D. So I'm going to type in e equals X lookup. So for the lookup value, I want to look up this retail price, comma, and then for the lookup array, I want to select all of these, and then I want to press F and F4 to make it absolute. I want to put in a comma. For the return array, I want to select all this A, B, C, or D. F and F4 and comma, comma. So I want to choose the exact match or next smaller item. So minus one, close the parentheses, press enter, and that automatically copy down due to the Excel table functionality beautiful so i want to come to this customer code now in the customer code we have the name of the customer and then we have the customer category which is gold now the first thing we want to do based on this data is we have this region code one two five so we want to use the choose or the chose function to choose south west east north central for each of the code one to five so i'm going to copy and type in e equals choose function so for the index number i want to click on this value and then put in a comma and then for the value one i'm going to click on the south comma for the value two i'm going to choose west comma east comma north comma and then the central so i want to select all this reference select all of them and press f94 to make it absolute just press control enter beautiful it automatically copy down for us nice and easy now we want to come in and use the xlookup function to pull the corresponding product from this product catalog based on the item code now the name of our table here is called product list so we're going to use this, this in our function or in our formula so i'm going to come here and type in e equals xlookup recharge x function so for the lookup value i want to click on this item this code put in a comma for the lookup array i want to call the name of our product catalog which is product list and i want to open a square bracket and then i want to point to the item code column close the square bracket comma for the return array we want to return the 
product catalog in the product list table. So open a crochet and then we want to access the product column, close the crochet or the close it, the square bracket and then close the parentheses, press enter. Beautiful. So we have all the product that matches this item code. Amazing. Now to populate for the discount category, I'm going to come here, uh, come to the bad for you. Ctrl C to copy escape. I'm going to come here. So F6, Ctrl V. I can come into this formula and delete this part. And I'm going to call this category column and press enter and that works beautifully now for the retail price i'm going to control v again and then i'm going to get rid of this part and i'm going to call the retail price column control enter amazing it works beautifully now we want to return the discount percentage based on this discount matrix now based on our matrix we have what is called named ranges so we have the discount named range we have the discount categories named range and then the customer category named range so i'm going to come to the customer code worksheet and then for this customer that is a good customer i'm going to type in a girl i can use the index function or even double x lookup but let's see the index function now the index function require the array so i'm going to call the discount range name range put in a comma and then for the row number argument i'm going to use the match x function x match or it means the match let's say the x match the same thing as equiv x in french so for the lookup value i want to look up this this can category i want to put in a comma and then for the lookup array i want to look up the discount category name range put in a comma and then I can go on because this performed exact match. So I'm going to close that bracket and put in a comma. And then for the call number, I can use the X match function again. And then for the lookup value, I want to look up this gold. I'm going to press F and F to make it absolute comma. For the lookup array, I want to call the customer categories named range comma. And then I can, of course, this is the default, get rid of the comma close the parentheses for the x match and then close the parentheses for the index press enter beautiful so we have the discount percentages for the gold and then for each of the discount categories and then we have this one twenty eight thousand two seven seven. now this is the final solution because we haven't multiplied this unit by the units per item so i'm going to come here and double click i'm going to come after this formula i'm going to come to the side i'm going to multiply by the quantity and control enter so we have the um, retail price multiplied by the quantity and then this is the total and then we have the subtotals for each of the regions so this is basically how we can use the x lookup or the recherche functions i hope you enjoyed this video i'm going to see you in the next video bye for now